Hi everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be here. Um, you know, it's crazy how as soon as you um, clear things up, right, things that are getting in the way of more important things, all of a sudden you feel weightless. And if you don't know what I mean, that's okay because I'm not really telling you what I mean, but um, I guess I could. Um, ever since I decided to cut out the tarot scopes, ever since I started to not really feel pressured to do a live reading, um, I've just been feeling a lot more chill and focused, you know, sometimes we get really, we, we clutter up our plate because we want to take on so much and we want to make sure we appease, you know, whoever it is we feel we need to appease. And sometimes uh, it doesn't need to be that complex. Sometimes you just need to make it simple, right? Keep things simple. And for me, it's like this channel, and I mean specifically with the tarot scopes, like I don't care too much about individual zodiac signs. And I was like, I'm kind of tangenting a bit, but I don't really care about individual zodiac signs. I found that when I was doing the tarot scopes, first I was doing them weekly. I felt like each week it was, I was repeating myself. And then doing monthly, it just seemed tedious, right? It just seemed tedious because zodiacs are more so representative energy. Um, and I just feel like it's not that helpful. Um, on top of that, it's hard to like do so many things across different platforms. So for me, it was like, okay, let me just focus on YouTube. Let me just focus on what I'm doing on YouTube and let my website be kind of like a hub to find what you need from me, but not necessarily a place where I'm like doing a bunch of like work all the time, you know? Um, and I like that. So, yeah, lately I've just been feeling really good about where this channel is going. I've been feeling really good about um, how I'm using my energy. Um, and I've been feeling really good as well, thanks to all of y'all's amazing comments. Like, I think that's probably like my favorite part of being on YouTube is just how easy it is to reach people and have people reach me and to see, like, I can see, um, the influence, you know, when you say the nice things you do or when you tell me how a reading has resonated, you know, that's that's the biggest reward, you know, because it affirms what I'm doing here. And it makes me, it makes it easier for me to want to keep coming back and keep doing it because I know that the people who are listening are getting something out of it that's good and positive. So anyway, I feel like ugh, I rambled a bit, but I just... I don't know, I, once the camera got rolling, I had to say that. So, anyway, thank you. Um, this reading is going to be about who is, no, no, no. Why are they so obsessed with you, right? Why? So that means this reading is for my people who already know, right? You already know who's obsessed with you. And you're just like, why? Why are you so obsessed with me, okay? You're like, um... Take a picture, it will last longer, right? Um, this could be a part two for my last video on who wants to compete with you. If you watch that one, it could be a part two for that one. Um, but it's, this can also be a standalone reading, a standalone reading as well. Um, just depending on where you're at, who's on your mind, and what comes through. So I'm excited to get into it. I have three groups, as always. Um, and I have a special guest group, whatever that means. But anyway, group one is going to be this white seashell, this type of seashell. Group two is our guest, our new friend, this cute little starfish that I literally just got yesterday. Um, so group two is the starfish. <laughs> and then group three is this seashell that's more like rounded. Alrighty, um, it's like a like a croissant seashell. Anyway, group one, group two, group three. As always, there will be a picture inserted. 
so that you can pause the video and meditate on which group you belong to. And each, in each group, the timestamps will be in the description box below. <laughs> See you at your reading. Doo -doo. Hi, group one. You have chosen this cute little white seashell. Um, I did kind of want to do a little channeling with the seashells, but really it just depends on what comes through and the energy on what I can get from it. Um, and with this, I'm not getting too much, honestly. I do feel like the person who's obsessed with you is, um, for lack of a word, it's like a basic bitch. Like, this is somebody who, um, I don't know, I'm getting somebody who doesn't really have a lot of flavor going on. Somebody who who either copies others or somebody who just doesn't have a lot of direction or they don't really um, have a thing. You know how some people have a thing, like they have a look or they have an aesthetic or they have a talent or they have a, you know, they have something. They have like this essence. Um, this person coming through is somebody who... It feels like they don't really have their own essence. They don't really have a real direction. They don't have an aesthetic. They don't have... Their identity is is very much um, just something that blends in with the world around them or becomes absorbed in the world around them. They don't, ha they don't stand on their own, if that makes sense. Um, this person coming through, okay? I feel like this person... I'm also getting this as somebody who projects onto you. Okay, um, this is somebody who it's like I feel like they are upset with you or they they feel some type of way with you because you're not like that. Right. Um, this person could surround themselves with other people like them who are like like this person doesn't have to be bland, bland, but this person could just be a follower. This person could be somebody that kind of adopts the, you know, whatever trend is happening at the time or they um I don't know like they they don't really think for themselves I'm getting like this is somebody who um this person could also just not be somebody who thinks very deeply uh they're very surface level in a lot of ways maybe really shallow um and it's like they see you as somebody who um is not like that right like I just heard feathers ruffled, like they got their feathers ruffled. You see how the around the edges of this are kind of like, well, you probably can't tell, but around the edges of this, it's very like rugged and rigid, like 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 they're rumbling, like they're growling, like they're like, mm, mm. like they just, they got their feathers all ruffled because there's something about you that just stands out and you don't have to, you, you're somebody who probably doesn't follow trends or you don't care what other people think or you don't do what's the most basic thing happening right now like you do your own thing and this person kind of like i feel like they just it, it it bothers them that you are like unique right that you aren't like they you, you're not probably not easily figured out i don't know let me not ramble let me just get some cards okay um this person the person on group two's mind i mean group one's mind the person on group one's mind, why are they so obsessed with you? Why is this person so obsessed with group one? Why is this person obsessed with group one spirit? I'm hearing that they're just boring. They are obsessed with you because, ooh. Y'all, my whole deck just fell out my hand. Um, pardon me, but I'm not going to take this card. Give me one second. I don't know. This person don't like you. Mm -hmm. This person wants what you have. Why is this person obsessed with group one spirit? Why is this person obsessed with group one?
Ace of Pentacles. Why is this person obsessed with group one? Okay. We got two of Pentacles. They're obsessed because they can't figure out how to get what you've gotten. Hmm. I heard hashtag blessed. What is this person? Why is this person obsessed? Oop, three of wands. Psh, I knew it wanted to come out. I saw you, boo. I knew you wanted to come out. Okay. So, first of all, let's start with the Ace of Pentacles. I'm getting a few things from this. Ooh, we got Ten of Pentacles here. So, this could be somebody at work, for sure. This could be somebody at work. This could be somebody um, that you live with. Uh... And if not those, then this is just somebody who, who who's paying a lot of attention to your abundance, right? This is somebody who's paying a lot of attention to your money. This person pays a lot of attention to how you look, how you present yourself with this Ace of Pentacles. To them, you just look like this nice, shiny coin, right? You look shiny, I'm getting with the Ace of Pentacles, right? You just look shiny, you're glistening, you look good. Some of y'all might need to be watching group two, okay? This person... They're obsessed with you because they're trying to figure out why you're blessed with this Ace of Pentacles, right? Hashtag blessed. You just look blessed. You look like blessings just come through often. You look like you're well taken care of. You look like you don't really, um, you don't look like you're struggling, okay? This person, yeah, I feel like, yes, like with the basic thing, like you just might not be basic, right? Even if you don't do Maybe you're not necessarily like a bad bitch, right? Maybe you're not necessarily like looking like a bad or whatever, right? It doesn't matter what your aesthetic is or how you, how you look. But the way you come off to this person, it's like you don't need to do what other people do. Or you don't need to present in the way other people think they need to present in order to stand out and seem like amazing and like a queen. And they're noticing this about you. And it's kind of like... It ruffles them because they they're trying to figure out why like how how do you look the way you look how do you do what you do how are you standing out the way you're standing out to them maybe at first you seemed basic right maybe at first when they saw you because I feel like this person tries to this person tries to be the bad bitch right it doesn't matter the gender it, like I said it doesn't matter the aesthetic this could be about um, guys um, but whatever it is, like the whatever the it is, it's like this person, they could be trying to be it, right? They could be trying to look like it, whatever that means, right? They could be getting their nails done or getting their hair done in a way that they think is supposed to make them elevated, right? And to them, at first, you were the one that seemed basic, right? They looked at you like because you weren't doing what they were doing like because you weren't trying to fall in line with the the look right or the whatever then they try to write you off like you were basic but then it's like they start to see like wait no i'm basic wait no i'm the follower wait shit i'm i'm the one who's not very creative you know what i'm saying that's what's coming through and so it's like they're kind of shook that you're the shiny coin, not them, right? They thought they were shiny, but really they're ashy. Like they're like, damn, damn, this person is glistening. Dang, I'm I'm a little dull, you know. And I hope this is not not sounding too abstract, but like that's what I'm getting. Like with this Ace of Coins, it's like they wanted, they really wanted to think that you were just the common one, right? With the seashell, like let me tell you, when I was on the beach, seashells that looked like this were everywhere. And that's why I started picking up different ones because I was like, well, hey, wait, hold up. I don't need 10 seashells that look like this. You know what I'm saying? And it's like they're starting to realize, wait, wait, damn, I'm, I'm the one that looks like everybody else that's also trying to look like everybody else. Or, or I'm doing the same thing as everybody else who's trying to do the same thing as everybody else. And, and they tried to critique you or they tried to come for you because you weren't doing that. But in the end, it revealed that it, in the end or over time, it became apparent to them that because you aren't doing what everybody else is doing, you're the one who's going to stand out. You're the one that's going to be 
the exciting, shiny new toy. You know what I mean? And they're not happy about this at all. Like I said, this could be like a work thing. Like this person could be, you know, at work kind of like peeking from behind their computer trying to figure out what you're doing over there. What are you saying to the boss? You came to work looking like that. How you look like that? Oh, all of a sudden you got a, you got a new, you got a new something something. How did that happen? Hold up. You're bouncing around her happy as shit. Dang, what, what's going on with you? Did you, what, like, they, it's like, oh, I hope it, you, it makes sense. Like, this person's, like, they really wanted you to be the one that's, that's not the interesting one, right? They really wanted to play it off like, you're not interesting, you're weird, you're whatever. But in reality, it's like, dang, they're, they're looking like, well, that's working for them. They're, like, upset because that works for you, you know? Mm. With the two of pentacles here, like I said, this person's trying to, figure it figure you out this person's not trying to figure out why what you're doing works for you right this person is analyzing you and observing you because they're trying to figure out what can they do to one-up you they're trying to strategize i'm getting with this two of pentacles right they're trying to they're doing a little research whatever that means they could be stalking you your instagram your social whatever social media you have they could just be taking mental notes on the things you wear or the things you say or how you do your hair. They could just be, I'm just seeing somebody like paying close, 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 close attention to you and what you do and trying to figure out why it works. And with this three of wands, like this person, like I said, this person wants to have what you have. They're upset because they don't have, this person's obsessed because they don't have what you have. Um, and I'm I'm getting essence, right? Your vibe, your, you know, who you are. There's something about who you are and they don't have it and they're obsessed because of it. And they, um, this person comes off just really competitive, um, but not in a healthy way. So for some of you, this could be part two to my last video. For some of you, it might not be. But this person is coming off like very competitive, right? They're trying to one-up you, right? They're trying to figure out how to get the advantage over you, right? What are your weak spots? What are your secrets? You know, how are you able to do X, Y, and Z? How are you able to look X, Y, and Z? Like this person is obsessed. For a lot of you, this person's like really, really focused on how you look. This person is really, really like pressed about how you look. But this three of wands, like I said, this person is like trying to fig really, this person is like, they want to be better than you. I'm getting with this three of wands. This person is like, they're like hoping and praying for something to come through that's going to give them the leg up and the competition. And I just feel like they should just focus on themselves, right? They just need to figure out who they are and then be who they are. And then they won't feel like they need to compete with anyone else. The problem with this person is that they're too busy trying to look and be what they think they should be and then and then they're constantly running into like getting disappointed when that's not enough you know it at the end of the day it's going to be authenticity that's going to win you the lottery okay it's going to be your authenticity that's going to get you exactly what you need and what you want when you are too busy putting on a costume that does not fit trying to play a role that you were not cast in you're going to be disappointed okay play your role focus figure out what what role the universe casted you in and play that role and you're gonna find that everything you do pertaining to that role is gonna lead you to the victory you want when you're too busy trying to to take other people's roles and you're trying to read other people's lines guess what you're gonna fall behind you're gonna be the one looking silly when it's time for the curtains to pull back because you don't know what the fuck you're supposed to do not not coming at you group one i'm talking about this person they need to focus on their fucking lines sorry but i don't like energy like this and i'm kind of hyped today why is group one uh, why is this person obsessed with group one spirit why is this person obsessed with group one i am going to pull messages after this why is this person obsessed with group one? Page of Swords, yeah. Because they're not original. Why is this person obsessed with group one? 
they feel hold on, why is this person obsessed with group one why is this person obsessed oh hold on okay we need two more cards why is this person obsessed with group one The tower. Mmm. I just heard you thought. You thought. Why is this person obsessed with group one? The high priestess. Okay. Whew. Okay. So, and then we have queen of wands here. You're hot. Bam. That's it. Reading over. Done. I'm joking. <laughs> this person is obsessed because you're hot. This is blowing my mind. This person is obsessed with you because you're hot. This person, they thought they were hot shit, right? With this page of swords, let me tell you about this person. This person talks too much, but they hide, right? This person likes to say something and then hide. Right? They got they like to throw stones and then hide. They like to run, hide. This person is actually uh very scary. Okay? This person is this person it's like inside they wish they were the big bad wolf. Um I'm just gonna put that out here with this page of swords. I'm getting somebody who who they like to in their head pretend that they're the big bad wolf, but their actions don't line up. This person, um they 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 hide away and they want to basically um hide their hand right this person's hiding their hand this person um might not be trustworthy but this i feel like their their untrustworthiness has nothing to do with you this is something else going on in their life and it's going to reveal itself during this um saturn retrograde probably but but this has nothing to do with you but this is a part of their character right they hide things and they run away. They're scary. They don't want to get caught. And they really, at the end of the day, they don't really know how to stand out is what I'm getting with this page of swords. They don't really know how to stand out. And that's why they're so obsessed with you because it's like almost effortlessly you're able to stand out. With this tower here, like I said, I heard you thought. I feel like this person thought they were going to be if this is a job right if this is a work thing this person thought that they were going to be the hot shit on the floor right they thought they were going to be the employee of the month okay and when you arrived when you showed up all of a sudden it's like i'm hearing this bird at the top of this tower with this alarm like ah, 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 ah. So, i'm so hyped today i do not know why but yeah, like, it's like all of a sudden you show up and it's like, ah, ah, alarm goes off because it's like, oh no, oh no, I'm not employee of the month. This bitch about to get employee of the month. The fuck? Like, they're, it's like they didn't plan on this happening and they feel like your very presence is shaking things up for them. This could also um, affect their household in some way for some of them or it's just affecting their relationships. It's, it's affecting their sense of security for just in general, right? A lot of this is coming down to money and security and um, image, right? How someone feels about themselves and how they look and how they present. And so this tower, like I said, they feel like you came and you shook the foundations and their security, they feel like their security is threatened by you. But the high priestess here, why is this person obsessed with you? Because it's like, I'm getting that some things are just come natural, right? There's something about either what you do at work or just in general your looks. I feel like your looks play a huge, huge part in this. But it's like I'm getting, I feel like your looks shook them up, but it's like there's something else going on, right? Either your talent or your work ethic or just your energy that it's like it's, it's kind of setting the panic in stone, right? It's like it's like you took the cover off the big red button, but then now you just pressed the big red button. Like first they, they were scared you're gonna press it, but with this high priestess, damn, you done pressed that shit. They need like, like they feel like, oh no, you have a natural 
you have natural gifts you have natural talents there are things about you that you don't have to try so hard to do and or be and it has them like it really has their panties in a bunch i'm getting like this person it's like i feel like this person tries really really hard to not be around you they try really really hard to not engage with you with the page of swords and they also try really really hard to not pay attention to you i feel like just the just looking at you or being around you or hearing you speak or whatever it triggers this person like i said with the queen of wands you're hot there's something you're just you're hot and it's like when they're around you they get hot they start sweating they start fidgeting they start feeling uncomfortable and irritated like they have to run they run whenever you're around basically okay Woo! group one this person fuck them anyway i'm gonna get some messages i'm not getting advice for this reading because i want to do another reading about how to handle your haters right for each of you how to handle the people who are just hate up hating on you all the time that's going to be my next reading so make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed so you can um participate in that hmm. but yeah let's get some cards for group one messages for group one why is this person so obsessed with group one spirit why is this person so obsessed with group one? Hold on. I feel like my alarm's about to ring. Let me pause it. Great. Um, why is this person obsessed with group one? Yeah, spirit wants to tell me a lot of things. Mm. So we have manifestation is a passive act. We also have experiment with tone and volume. And let's see, what else? One more card. Why is this person so obsessed with group one? Mm. Damn, spirit gave me two cards. I'm done. Y'all, I am so done. I hope that wasn't too loud. So we got two different, and then we got desire. Shoot. Hold on, let me check the time on the clock. Okay, good. We're good, we're good, we're good. So this person, group one, let's start with manifestation as a passive act. This person, like I said, there are things that they feel like just come easy to you, right? They feel like you're getting what you want, at a faster rate or you're succeeding at a faster rate than them they feel like you don't have to try too hard um and they also feel like when it comes to them and their energy they feel like you're not really affected by them and that's like that stresses them out right they they see themselves as really not being competition to you and that is like i feel like that's a big thing that um triggers them you know what i'm saying because they they wanted to think that they were competition they wanted to think that they were hot shit that they were the biggest threat in the room they wanted to they wanted to feel and believe that they were just about to come in here and be the baddest bitch but they're not and they're they're upset because you're the baddest bitch and you don't have to look the way they look and you don't have to you don't have to be common like them right they're the ones trying to follow the trend and do what other people are saying is right and good and hot and sexy but you come in you come in being different however that may be and you're tearing it the fuck up okay you're getting what you want and you don't have to pretend you don't have to try too hard you just be yourself and you're just a talented and amazing with experiment with tone and volume i feel like that is really speaking to um you you being willing to be different i feel like the experiment with tone and volume and too different i feel like these are kind of going hand in hand right you're so different and that's what bother that's what bothers them because i feel like they're afraid to be different right they're afraid to be experimental and they're they're afraid of just of they don't know what authenticity really is okay and that's it's like bothering them that you can come in and you can wear something different every day or you can try and do your hair different anytime or you can um you know you can say silly you know whatever it is that you do whatever it is that you do that's different and fun and that challenges the norm it triggers them because 
they don't know they're afraid of being different right they're afraid and you're not i don't know what else to say beyond that like jesus but with desire oh i feel like all of these are literally like the fact that you get what you want you don't have to try too hard you're different and the fact that at the end of the day you're hot we got queen of wands and then desire you are hot you're hot this person they are definitely triggered by how attractive you are i don't know what you look like it really don't matter but this person thinks that you are extremely attractive you could just be pretty right it could just be that simple you're just pretty or you could just have a nice body or there's something about how you look that's and and i feel like they know I feel like this is a little deeper too because I feel like they know that there could there could be other people if this is work related if this is not applied like this could be school this could be it could be anything but I feel like there are other people around in this environment that they know for a fact think that you are cute or think that you're attractive or they see you being treated a certain way and they're attributing it to your attractiveness and they're upset. And I also think that this is about them too as well, that they desire you as well, that they could have a little crush on you. It doesn't have to be romantic or sexual, you know. Um, like, you know, like for example with girls, like sometimes girls will have quote unquote girl, girl crushes and it's not because they're... Hi, sorry group one, my camera cut off. Don't you hate that? Um, anyway, I was just saying that, yeah, this person is mad at themselves because... Whatever effect that you have on other people, um, you also have it on them. And so that to them is very triggering because that means that whatever you've got is real, right? You're not faking it. You're authentic. Whatever charm you have is real. And that's what they're upset about um, for the most part. So anyway, that's all I have. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonated. If it did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to leave a comment. And if you would like to be notified whenever I post new videos, then go ahead and subscribe and ring that notification bell. Bye, group one. Hi, group two. You have chosen the starfish. This is special because it's new and I got him yesterday. I'm so excited to have a starfish. I mean, it just felt right. Anyway, <clears throat> for some, I feel like you maybe watched group one and that's why you're here. For others of you, you may need to watch group one. Um, if not, whatever, it doesn't matter. I do feel like you are just special right you're just different you're just somebody who um i'm getting like a regenerative energy right this is somebody who cannot die you're somebody who cannot be um you cannot be de defeated i'm getting like somebody is somebody's obsessed with you because you can't be defeated group two um whatever they tried to do or thought they would try to do it's like they're upset because, and I feel like this is not about why is somebody upset with you. This is about being obsessed. But often people who are obsessed, um, they end up being very, very frustrated and upset with the object of their obsession because uh, they're not getting what they want, right? And this person, whatever they want, it's like this person wants to take something from you or they want to enable you, they want to disable you, I'm, get, I'm getting, in some way. But for some reason, they can't, like, right? Like, you can't be defeated. You can't be destroyed. You can't be killed. Um, whatever they do, you're going to bounce right back, and you're going to be good as new, okay? So let's get into it, group two. Why is this person so obsessed with you? Why are they, why is this person so obsessed with group two, spirit? I was so hyped in group one. Why is this person so obsessed with you, group two? My dog is mad because I am not paying attention to her right now. <laughs> the fool. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Why is this person upset? Um, obsessed with group two? 
six of swords, right? You just move on, right? You just bounce back. Why is this person obsessed with group two? Three of swords. Damn. You may have broken this person's heart, right? This person, this person feels hurt by you, right? This is somebody who may have thought they broke your heart. We have a knight of swords, right? This is somebody who, um, I'm getting somebody who tried to cut you down. This is somebody who's not very good at planning. This is somebody who's not very strategic, I feel, with this um, knight of swords, right? This person might move quickly. This person may have a very, um, like they're a mental person, right? So they, they do a lot of thinking, but they don't really do a lot of planning. Um, with this air energy, this could be also somebody who just talks a lot. Like it might not even be necessary that they think a lot. They just talk a lot. It doesn't matter. They just, they don't plan well. They move, they they are very hasty with their moves. Um, they may have felt like, I feel like for some of you, this person um, tried to cut you down by breaking your heart or hurting you in some other way. Maybe somebody tried to take your person, I'm getting. Um, or they feel like you broke their heart and um either way it goes it's like after that you bounce back you just moved on with the fool you just went about your life and um you started a new journey almost as if it didn't happen right i feel like for some of you this person thought they broke your heart but then once they saw that you just moved on and you just started doing your own thing with the six of swords, you just put it behind them. You like literally you moved on. That's what I'm getting here. Like this person is upset. They're obsessed because you moved on as if you're as if they didn't hurt you, <coughs> hurt you. And the three of swords is also to me, it's not just about heartbreak or hurt or pain. It's also about healing from that pain. Right. Recovering from that pain. And this person is like. They, they feel some type of way because you recovered. They You recovered also quickly, I feel like, for some of you. Um, you recovered quickly or you recovered and they didn't think that you would. There's something that they did that they thought that you would never be able to recover from or it would take a long time for you to recover from. Um, but they were wrong. And you bounced back. And now you're on a whole nother path. You're on a whole new journey. And it's bothering them. Okay, I feel like also I'm getting it. This person got karma for whatever it is that they did, right? Whatever they thought they were putting on you, it came back to them. Because with this Three of Swords, I'm getting the, the whole thing. Like, when you point one finger at somebody, there are three more pointing back at you. So they tried to hurt you. They tried to put something on you. But then it came back to them threefold. And they're like, they're obsessed. They're obsessively um irritated with how you seem untouchable right like you cannot be defeated you cannot be destroyed you're always going to regenerate you're always going to come back um good as new better than ever and i feel like they're very confused by this with this knight of swords i feel like this person rushes through a lot of things this person they don't think things through they don't think long term whatever they did or whatever happened um this person could be just short-sighted whatever did they did or whatever happened they didn't really understand the extent of the impact or the extent of um Hold on. Mojo, what are you doing? What are you doing? Sorry, she is like doing something weird. Get over to your bed. Hey, get to your bed. No, come here. Come here, over here. Get here. Lay here. Good, sit, stay. Can't let her out of my sight. Hmm. I feel like that's relevant. Somebody, they try to do something behind your back. That's what I get. I feel like this person tried to do something behind your back to hurt you. And they weren't able to get away with it. And now they're the ones dealing with those consequences. While you're kind of like moved on, scot-free, unaffected, you know, living your best life, doing your own thing. And they're really like... 
they're like frustrated about it okay they're frustrated with how you're living a happy life you're the star when i first of all with the fool and then this um starfish here you could be aquarius um you don't have to be but i'm getting some aquarius energy but it's like i don't know i just get this energy that you're like they see you having a good funky time this person could follow you on social media right with the star as well um they they could just be following you on social media and they're just like watching you smiling and having a good time or just like in general focusing on yourself right they don't see you still caught up in whatever was happening between y'all so let's get some more cards why is group two why is this person so obsessed with group two spirit why is this person so obsessed with group two and we'll get messages later as well why is this person so obsessed with group two we have the four of swords why is this person so obsessed with group two i just heard recovery with the four of swords you recovered you took the time to rest and you recovered why is this person so obsessed with group two i feel like they thought they killed you <laughs> Why is this person so obsessed with group two? Why is this person so obsessed? We got eight of wands. Why is this person so obsessed with group two? You can't kill me. <laughs> That's what I just heard. You can't kill me. The fuck? This person thought they killed you with the four of swords. They thought they destroyed you. They thought when they when they when this situation ended, they thought or or rather um cuz or rather they thought the situation ended, right? At whatever point they thought that they won, they thought that you were defeated. They thought that you were lying down dead in your grave and then you rose up, right? They turn back around, the body's gone. You're walking free. Okay? Really you were just resting, you were just recovering, right? They underestimated you. They thought that defeating you would be easy, okay? They thought defeating you would be a cakewalk with the full pair. Like, they thought it would be easy. It would be a piece of cake that they could just come in, knock you off your pedestal, and then you would just keep laying down on the ground. And now they're obsessed and shook because you're still alive. Hello? You're still alive. You're still, you're still walking. You're still um doing your thing what's that one song that glee um y'all talking about glee uh what's that one song it was in season one when quinn was um hanging out with archie and they were singing that song i'm still running yeah 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 i'm still running yeah 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 that's it like you're happy you're still going you're still free i need to listen to that song but i can if you're still rolling or whatever but it's like they're obsessed because whatever they thought affected you didn't really affect you right it was a bit of a setback it was a bit of a distraction but you know what you learned your lesson you took a moment to just decompress and then you let it go. You got up and you went about your life. With the Eight of Wands, it's like they're obsessed because they can't keep opportunities from you. That you're always going. Like I said, some of y'all need to listen to um, Group One. Hashtag blessed. You're blessed. The opportunities, the blessings, they just keep coming in with this Eight of Wands. They, they, they're obsessed because they can't stop your blessings. They can't stop your growth. They can't stop your success and elevation right six of, this is right underneath the six of swords when you got up and went about your life you left the door open for all types of opportunities to come in and find you they thought that they that they thought that they destroyed your ability to keep attracting blessings not i no thanks no as if like I'm sorry, I'm so hyped today. Like, this person is just like, they really thought they just like cut off all your limbs. Like, you weren't just gonna grow them back. Like, of course you will. Of course you will. 
Why is this person obsessed with group two? The star. The. The. Y'all. Please don't. Please, please understand that I'm just in a great mood. And then with the Six of Cups, I feel like this person is reminiscing about how good they had it before with you, right? I feel like this was like a friends to enemies or a lovers to enemies type of scenario where y'all were good, y'all were cool, and this person was just actually secretly jealous and secretly plotting behind your back and um, actually just uh, waiting for the opportunity to instigate your downfall and like I said, that's why it came back and bit them in the ass. With the stars, like you're always gonna shine. You're always gonna shine. You're unreachable, right? You're unreachable, you're untouchable, okay? It's too far to reach. They're, they're never gonna reach you. Too hot to touch also, you know what I'm saying? And now they're reminiscing to when they were close enough to you to touch. And now they can't, they never will. They're reminiscing on the time when y'all were cool, when y'all were good. It's like they're finally seeing, um, it's like before they underestimated your potential and they thought you were an easy target to take advantage of and destroy. They thought that this, that they thought that coming for you would elevate them. But then the karma was that they shot you up several levels, right? You just, you just elevated to the top floor while they got kicked back down to level two, okay? And they're upset about that because they're like, damn, maybe if I had just um, been cool with them and treated them right, I would have been gone up to level one, two with them. Now they're like, damn, I could have went, I could have elevated with this person, but because I um, burned that bridge and disrespected them and underestimated them and, and thought that I could you know, do whatever to them. Now I'm over here looking silly, thinking about the times when we were cool. You know what I mean? And if you did watch the last video, you know, why are they competing with you or why are you competition or who wants to compete with you? Whatever the title was, I said that people like this when people, when it comes to personal growth and elevation, when people insist on competing with people who are not competing with them, first of all, but when people insist on competing with people outside of them, instead of just going inward and developing themselves, they set themselves back, okay? They end up leaving themselves behind because let me tell you, pay attention to yourself, worry about what you do, because if you are not worrying about what you're doing and you're worrying about other people, guess what? You're leaving yourself behind, right? You're not giving attention to where it needs. You're going to leave yourself behind. And because of that, this person is like they're seeing that now, like, hold up. I was too busy trying to destroy you that I forgot to elevate myself. I forgot to make sure I'm getting to where I'm going. Okay? Like I said, this person is short-sighted with the Knight of Swords. They don't think that far ahead. They move quickly. They, they, they do things out of spite, I'm getting, okay? Maybe something happened in the past and that made them feel some type of way about you and so then they thought they were gonna um, get revenge or whatever and it's like, well, no, bitch, now you're on level two. Enjoy. You can, you can fight all those bosses again. Meanwhile, you just beat the final level. Good for you. Okay, so let's get some messages from this person. I'm not going to get advice in this reading because I want to do another reading on what to, how to handle your haters in general. I think that would be a good discussion. How to handle your haters uh, because I feel like sometimes we think we need to like actively engage with them, but sometimes that's not the case. So I'm going to save that for another reading and instead we're just going to get more messages. Whew, group two. Why is this person obsessed with group two spirit? Why is this person obsessed with group two? Why is this person obsessed with group two? Why is this person obsessed with group two? Start over. Mm. Why is this person obsessed with group two? B. 
beautiful, first of all. Why is this person obsessed with group two? Any day now. Damn! I'm sorry, but that just had to come out. Any day now. <laughs> I'm dead. First of all, hashtag blessed. Okay? I'm going to start saying that. Hashtag blessed. Okay? Everybody, if you follow me on Twitter, um, hashtag blessed. Everybody hashtag blessed. Because let this person know. Hashtag motherfucking blessed. I've never cussed this much in a reading. This is how hype I am today. Let me tell you. First of all, this person's mad that you can just start over. Like I said, this person thought they destroyed you and they didn't. They're obsessed because you just got up and kept going. Period. Beautiful. First of all, big, beautiful, shiny star. Untouchable. Unreachable. Right? They cannot be you. Right? What you are is what you are. You are beautiful. That cannot... First of all, beauty can never be taken away. I don't know. I don't care what anybody says. It can be enhanced. But beauty can never be taken away. And this person is like realizing that now that the beauty that you have is within. It is a part of your being. It is, it is written in the stars. Your beauty is in your DNA. They, like I said, they can cut off your hair. It's going to grow right back. They can cut off a finger. It's going to grow right back right? They can cut out your tongue. It's going to come right back and you're going to be, and you'll be talking even more shit. Okay. And that's what they can't stand that the beauty that you have, they couldn't destroy it. All right. With any day now, like I said, hash tag less any day now with the eight of wands, you are going, you are elevating, right? I'm hearing inevitable, right? The, what, what, what is for you? You're going to get it. It's inevitable. They can't stop it. They can't stop this train. I'm so sorry, y'all. I, I don't know why I just apologize, but I've never... I'm literally so pumped. But, like, maybe it's this Saturn retrograde that's coming. But, like, literally any day now. I've been seeing 777 so much. Any day now. Any day now. Any day now, they're going to reveal themselves. Any day now, my blue, my seeds are going to um, sprout from the ground. Any day now, I'm going to get some blessings. Any day now. They can't stop it. It's inevitable. What's yours is yours. It's always been yours. They can't take that away. Like I said, they should have been worried about themselves. They should have been worried about what they were doing. They should have been worried about fighting their own bosses instead of trying to knock you down a few pegs. Because guess what? They, they didn't even realize that they, they were a boss for you. They don't even see that, that they were a boss, that they were a lesson, that they were a challenge. And they were too busy trying to fight you. They were too busy worrying about what you're doing on your journey instead of worrying about their own journey. They made themselves a villain. And guess what? Villains get fucked up. Okay? Villains get the shit beaten out of them every time. Okay? Love always conquers. Good always conquers every single time. Okay, so that's all I have for you today, group um, two. If you enjoyed this reading, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to leave a comment. And if you would like to be notified whenever I post new videos, then go ahead and subscribe and ring the notification bell. Bye, group two. Group three, OMG, this video has been so good so far. Welcome to your reading. Anyway, oh, let me do a little stretch. Mojo, go to your bed. Thank you. All right, let's get right into why is this person like so obsessed with you? <laughs> why? Is this person so obsessed with you? Hmm. Hmm. You've chosen the croissant seashell. I don't know why I'm calling this a croissant seashell. But it's rolled up like one. Um. I don't know. I, I was able to do a little bit of channeling. But I feel like this person is very hidden, right? There's a lot of things about this person that um, they don't reveal. Okay, this is somebody secretly obsessed with you. I feel like for some of you, whoever you thought you were do watching this video about, 
this is not going to be the person that you thought. Okay? For others of you, whatever this is going to be the video about the person you think you know about, but you don't really know about them. Okay? Take that how it resonates. This person is not how they seem. But let's see why are they so obsessed with you? Why is this person so obsessed with group three spirit? Why is this person so obsessed with group three? The devil. Why is this person so obsessed with group three? I heard wrapped up in you. Mm. Shit. Y'all see, I got butterfingers. Okay, pardon me. Why is this person so obsessed with group three spirit? Why is this person so obsessed? Strength? Mmm. Wow. Why is this person so obsessed with group three spirit? Why is this person so obsessed with group three? Pentacles. Mm. Mm. We have the Page of Swords. So some of y'all might need to watch Group 1 also. But maybe not. Okay. For some of y'all, this is a person that you're in a relationship with. Or this is somebody that you've dated before. Um, if this is not romantic, this is somebody who is very close to you, like a sibling or a friend. This is somebody who finds themselves very dependent on you, okay? Uh, I'm also getting that this person kind of lets you lead the connection in whatever capacity, right? This could be a mom... Or you're a mom or a dad. This could be a sibling. It really doesn't matter. But this person, they kind of like let you lead the connection. And I do feel like this person may just be inexperienced in some ways. Or they have a lack of resources even. Um, with the Ace of Pentacles and then the Page of Swords, I feel like this person, um, they struggle with having new ideas um, even. But this person... I feel like this person is just codependent with this devil here and then the strength. This person is very codependent. Um, this person is this person is obsessed because I I feel like they don't know what they would do without you. So this is very, very different from the other two groups, I will say. Um, but this person, they just feel like, but you know what? This reading is very different from the other two groups. But I do feel like some of you need to watch group one because there are, it, there uh, are qualities about you that also are coming through in group one or how do I say this like there are qualities about you that have multiple people triggered by you or obsessed with you right the same qualities you're innovative I feel like you're I feel like first of all all three groups hashtag blessed okay I'm gonna start saying, like that's my motto for this group or for this for this channel. Hashtag blessed. Okay? We're blessed. Every time. And I feel like this person they see you're blessed with good ideas. I feel like with the ace of pentacles. You're a very practical person. You're a resourceful person. And you seem like you know how to get things done. Um, and I feel like you're you're very stable to this person um mentally. I don't know, there's something about mentally. And so this person is like I feel like they're kind of like afraid of move, making moves without you. Um, and I also feel like just the way you move 
makes them very unsure of themselves, right? Or I wouldn't say it makes them very unsure of themselves, but it's like they become unsure of themselves because of how um of how you are. I'm also getting that you're just really loyal to this person. And so it's like I don't know, I'm not getting like really a bad obsession, but I do get like codependence. Like this person loves you for sure. This person loves you and they they are definitely recognizing all the ways you could like, come through for them and show up for them and it's like they just don't know what to do about it. They don't know what to do with you. I feel like this person is always thinking about you and always thinking about, I feel like with the Page of Swords, like they're always thinking about how they can show up for you, but they really don't know how um, or how they can reach your level so that they can like reciprocate in the way that you do, but they just don't know how. This person has a lot of respect for you, but it's almost like, if a lot of ways, because I was, if, with the devil, it's, at first, it seems like they want to keep you with them, right? They want to chain you up and with them. But I feel I'm getting this energy more so that they see themselves as a burden with the, the devil card. Like They feel like they burden you with their lack of imagination or they feel like they burden you with their lack of um, ability, mobility or assertion, right? Um, they feel like you are taking care of them even for some of you and it just it, it does make them feel insecure hmm this makes them feel very insecure uh hmm this person doesn't tell you a lot of things right when I, with this croissant um seashell this person has a lot of secrets or there's just a lot of thoughts in their head that they don't make readily available. But I feel like if anything, they're the ones burdened with this, these thoughts of how they're not good enough. Okay. Let's get some more cards. Why is this person obsessed with group three? Why is this person obsessed with group three? King of Swords. Why is this person obsessed with group three? Well, what makes this person obsessed with group three? They want to be the one you rely on. Where did that card go? We got Justice in Reverse. I just heard it's not fair. It's not fair. Why is this person obsessed with group three? They're frustrated with themselves. I'm really getting here. Why is this person obsessed with group three? One more card, please, Spirit. Why is this person obsessed? Very different energies from the other groups. Three of coins. Mm -hmm. This person really wants to be the one that you rely on. Okay? This person... But I feel like this is bigger than just you and your connection, right? This person wants to have more to offer. Okay? And this person... When they see you, they see you as somebody who has a lot to offer. They see you as being very stable. Um, but And it doesn't have to be necessarily with money, but just in your ability, right? In your ability to create, and your ability to make things happen. Um, you're innovative, and they kind of see you. They're definitely putting you on this pedestal, but it's like because they see you this way, now they're looking at themselves, and they're like, trying to figure out how they can measure up, right? They don't feel really equal to you. And they want to be the one who can provide for others, right? They are thinking a lot about, with this two, let me just go in order. So first of all, with this King of Swords, this person really wants to be the leader, 
okay? This person wants to be able to step up into that role of um, of the strategist, the planner, the person who has the ideas, the person who can lead an army, okay? This person, um, I feel like they want to be somebody who can make moves when it's time and instead of being afraid, right? This person may procrastinate also, and they want they want to not procrastinate, right? They're the page of swords here, so they do procrastinate, and they kind of hide. They hide behind their sword instead of making sure they're ready to use their sword, okay? Like I said, with the justice in reverse, I heard it's not fair. This person really, really wants to, and it's not really about you. It's more like, This person's kind of just throwing a bit of a pity party. And more than it being not fair, I feel like it's like they feel like it's not fair to you. They they want to be your equal. They just feel like they're not your equal. And they feel like a part of them feels like they're going to become a burden to you one day. And it won't be fair to you. And that the inequality is going to cause you guys to um, separate. Right? But the three of coins, they're very, very, very focused on what they're building, okay? Um, they're very, very focused on um, how they expand their money and their resources. And they're just trying to figure out, like, they're obsessed because there's something that you do that they're trying to figure out how you do it and how can they take note of that and, like, and use it, right? How can they do what you do, pretty much? This person does a lot of watching of you and they, um, it's like they just notice how easy it seems for you to always be able to know what to do next and how to expand, right? With the two of wands here, it's like they're always thinking about what to do next, but they never really know what to do next. So they're never really sure. And so then they don't ever take that next step, right, of just of moving towards um, that goal or that path. They're always kind of standing, wondering, you know, it's like, maybe I should do this. Ugh, I don't know. Wait. Well, maybe I could do this. I don't know. Never mind. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to wait. Well, I could do this, but I don't know. Never mind. Never mind. That's not a good idea. It's like they're, they're, they're too afraid to just make a move, right? They're overthinking it. They're overthinking everything that they do. And they just feel like it's going to catch up to them in terms of your connection. But let's get some more messages. I'm not going to do any advice for this reading just because I wanted to do another reading on how to deal with your haters. Even though this isn't about a hater. Um, the other groups were. Um, so this reading is a little different. Maybe I could get some advice for you, but... Let's get some messages. Um, why is this person obsessed with group three? I might do advice for y'all. Why is this person obsessed with group three? Why is this perfect? I mean, why is this person obsessed with group three? Footprints are a symptom of action. They're obsessed with you because you are making some type of waves. Because you're like a go-getter. You... You're an assertive person. You take action, okay? And they're kind of envious because to them it seems easy. It seems easy for you to be able to just take action, to just do something. Like you just you just go after it. You just do it. Why is this person obsessed with you? Beautiful. This person thinks you're beautiful. This came out in group two also. This person thinks you're very beautiful. They don't want to lose you, Okay? This person doesn't want whatever you have to end. They just don't know how to meet you where you're at, okay? How does group two, I mean, why is this person obsessed with group three? Why is this person obsessed with group three? One more card. Why is this person obsessed with group three? And then I'll get a one card for advice. Why is this person obsessed with group three? Confusion. Mm. 
this person feels very, very confused on the next steps of their life, right? This person seems very confused on how to go about resolving this issue within them on what to do, okay? And they are afraid that this confusion is going to lead to separation. This person is confused because they don't understand how you're able to just, like I said, just go for it. Like I said, it's not fair. It's not fair that it's easier, not just with you, but other people. They feel like with other people, it's easy to, It's easy for them to just go after their dreams or just do what they say they're going to do or to just know what they want to be or know how to go about it. And for them, it's not very easy. And so they, they feel overwhelmed and just kind of like saddened and burdened by this, this, um, this doubt inside. They are confused at, at how to overcome it. They don't understand how to overcome doubt. Um, this person probably could benefit from some really positive affirmations around their life goals or their purpose. Um, they could really, they could, they could really benefit from just taking time to to affirm themselves. Okay, because I don't think they are. I think they kind of sit and wallow in a lot of self doubt. And then they and then they wonder why they don't have the motivation to do the things they say they're gonna do or to figure out what they need to do. It's like they they've already it's like they've already decided that they can't do anything. They've already decided that they're incapable, and so then they're confused as to why they can't be capable. And it's because well, you keep saying you're not capable. Let's get some advice. For this person and you what's my advice for group three regarding this person's spirit what's group three's advice regarding this person mm. <sighs> okay this is a very um broad answer that we got but we're gonna we're gonna do what we can with it so we have complication and decision. And then at the bottom deck, we have transmutation. Okay. First, I want to say with the transmutation card, Spirit is basically saying that something's going to have to change, right? Something's going to have to be resolved in this situation. But... Transmutation is about kind of like taking something and uh, redirecting that energy into something else, right? This person needs to learn how to take this negative energy and transmute it into motivation, okay? And transmute it into inspiration, okay? This person... They do a lot of thinking, but it's more so like brooding and wallowing and self-pity. And they need to really like, they need to figure out how to, instead of using that time and energy to, to boo-hoo-hoo, they need to use that, they need to transform it into um, action, right? What are you going to do about it, right? Like, like, for example, when you're sad. Or are you going to just sit and cry and do nothing? Or are you going to scribble furiously in your diary? You know what I mean? Two different actions regarding the same energy, but one of them is a little bit more productive. And I mean, crying is okay too, but I'm just, it's an example, right? Crying is okay, right? Crying, crying about it versus, you know, um, you know, taking out on others, you know, crying will probably be more productive. But it's just an example of how you can kind of like, you have options in how you direct the energy. You know what I mean? Like your first instinct may just be to cry and be sad all day. But you have the option of using that same energy and that same sadness 
to do something a little bit more, you know, do, something, doing something that is more geared towards also achieving your goal. You know what I mean? It's just, it depends on how you want to use things. But with this indecision card, I feel like with the indecision and the complication, I feel like spirit is basically saying like this person's nature of being indecisive and stagnant is going to complicate your connection with the complication card. But I'm focusing on how this person is kind of like helping the other clear things out. So I feel like the overall energy here or the overall advice is basically saying like the advice is to, is to help this person if you can because this is, I feel like this person needs help, you know. And I, like I said, this person doesn't say a lot of things with the croissant um, seashell. This person holds on to a lot of information. They hold on to their feelings. They don't tell people what they're going through mentally. This person needs help. You know what I'm saying? As much as they may not want to accept it, right? Because they feel like, they feel already like a burden to you. But they have to understand that for you, I don't think they're a burden. They need to understand that there are people in their life who are there to help them and can help them if they accept it. And with the complication, to me, that also means like complex, right? Like now, you know, when you, when you add more people in the mix, it's complicated now. It's not simple. It's complicated. But that can also be the answer to getting done what you want to get done. This person needs help, okay? This person needs assistance. This person, they might not understand all their options. They may not understand all the different avenues they can take, all the different things they can do. So it's like they need help untangling all this confusion that they have, okay? And once that that gets untangled, then they can then they can understand all the all the ways they can transmute this negative energy. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, Oh, that's all I have for you today, group three. If you enjoyed this reading, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to leave a comment. And if you would like to be notified whenever I post new videos, then go ahead and subscribe and ring that notification bell. Bye, group three.